Year after year, Melee players try to answer the still unanswered question, who is the best? And what better way to answer that question than the big stage, heck, the biggest of stages, taking place in San Jose, California from February 16th to the 18th, awaits the 10th annual mark of the Genesis Major Series. With multiple storylines and recent 2024 summer top 100 world rankings released, it is time to see who can really step up to this tournament. My name is Edmund Carrago and this is what to expect and what could happen at Genesis 10. To start off, there are plenty of familiar faces entering this tournament, with Cody Schwab, the now number one player in the world, projected to win the whole shebang, but first he has to get through the tough opponents to actually get there. The reigning Genesis champion, Jay Mook, also the only solo sheik to ever win a major, has been a legitimate threat as of late, coming off of a strange slump in late 2023. But after getting second at Santa Paws 2 and Archimele form before, losing to Cody in both, it's going to be tough for this jaywalking, tech-chasing, savvy Sheik to keep his throne against the hot Cody Schwab. Up next, we have Mango and Zane, who have both been recently grinding their hearts out for this tournament. The goat of melee, Mango, didn't see a single first place in 2023 despite coming off of a great second half of the 2022 year. He was unable to recreate those performances, but with his run at the Big House 11, his passion is starting to reclick. And currently in melee's darkest hour, perhaps the Mango chant and holding the trophy that once belonged to him all those years ago when Genesis started 10 long years ago will finally bring peace to the game and rise it from his ashes. And as for Zayn, he has been an absolute beast in 2023, winning Fata 3 over Chainmook, tipped off over Mango, and winning Super Smash Con over Hungrybox. The master of the Red Cage Crusader is seizing the start of 2024 with a bang. Here are some other storylines that might occur at Genesis. Wizrobe and Plup have been both inconsistent and dominant at the same time. While Finland to close the gap and winning the big events, was he still that first and most of the other events he attended in late 2023? And as for Plup, not only getting fifth on the top 100 PR, he also got second at the Big House 11 and his first at CEO over Wizrobe. Other notable entrants include Slug, which makes Genesis 10 his first major he's attended since main stage 2022. He has been working on his ice climbers in the shadows, but it can defeat big ones yet. Spark is another upset radar finder, with Meds also attending, the AZ duo will most definitely find some upsets on their brackets. Salt is once again on the radar list, coming off of a stellar 2023 season finishing 14th on the top 100 world rankings. Getting first at Low Tide City, Let's Make Big News in Miami, and Ryan the Grind 2023. The best cat and falcon in the world has a chance to make a humongous upsets at this tournament, especially since she now has winning records over Melee's greats including Hungrybox and Axe. Up next is Leffen, who didn't really attend much in 2023, going only to the two majors of that year, but winning Ludwig's LACS5 kept him in the honorable mentions list of the top 100, but this makes it the first time he has not been on a world PR ever. Still, the fighting game legend comes off with a stellar year in other games, like e winning EVO 2023 for Guilty Gear, and has a chance to get at most a top 16 seeding, if not more, for Melee. He has proven again and again that he is capable of reaching the top of ease. Will he take the throne, or will he fall to other players who have been taking advantage of his lead to improve? So that's that, ladies and gents. We've seen the stats, but not the match. Who is going to be the reigning champion of the most stupendous event series in Melee's history? The now unmatched Cody Swab, the Ben's Mango, the current champ Jamie, or someone else. As of right now, most of the seating for the tournament is to change as more players begin to enter. So be sure to follow Stay on the Loop. Edmund out.